It's been on vault most of the year. We're hoping to see her later on floor. She's got a 9-8 on vault this year. Yeah, she has that extra mat down for some padding. The athletes can use that softer landing, but yeah. it can little leg separation, a little arch off the table, but was able to hold up. That's a boot. You know, you got a big ace bandage all the way around. Step out, holding on. Wow, she looked like she was completely lean to the right there. She has become back. I think you talked about Jordan Weaver being such a great beam worker. She was great. It used to amaze me because that took me years to learn how to handle the balance beam. But, you know, if you were straight every time, nobody would fall. That's what my coach <laughs> used to say. So the reality is to be great at beam, you got to figure out how to stay on when you're not straight. I think Justine did. Out full, sticking that landing. Well, that layout full. Quite often you see the one and a half and double fulls. But when you... Callis let off on beam moments ago, 9-7. Has kind of a nice slow pace and she works. Lead pass directly down to the splits. Justine, a very flexible gymnast. She showcases that in her choreography on beam and on floor. On floor, the ankle entry limited her to vaults. And so for the first time ever, Jessica again for Arizona State on the floor. On the floor. Opening front to double tuck. One thing they actually did with this routine was instead of doing three tumbling passes, that's typically what we see from most athletes, they opted to go with a little bit more difficulty starting with that combination and knocking it down to two tumbling passes. That means one less pass to train and pound that sore ankle. And that's a sign that she hasn't trained it that long on a hard surface.